In this video, we will show you how to implement Angular Google Maps. First of all, let's start by creating a new Angular project. You can create new project by using ng command. Let's name it Angular Google Maps. Wait till it, it installs all the dependencies and creates a new project in our directory. Once the installation is complete, go to the project directory by using cd command and open with your desired IDE. Here we're using VS Code. Now open the terminal by clicking Ctrl plus backticks and install Angular Google Maps by using following command. Here my project version is 17, so I'm installing compatible version with my project. To get started, you'll need a Google Maps API key, which you can create by visiting Google Maps platform. Then click on Get Started, which will lead you to Google Cloud. There you can create a project and proceed with key creation. Now once you have your Google Maps key, go to SRC folder and open index.html. Then paste the following script and replace this text with your Google Maps API key. Now open the app component.ts file and add Google Maps module inside the imports array. Now let's go to app-component.html and remove the code that comes with project creation. Now to use Google Maps, you can use it by adding Google Map tag. To start, we can use a property called Center. It is used to center our map view by adding latitude and longitude. Now go to app-component.ts file and create the center variable and add any latitude and longitude. Now save the file and go back to app-component.html file and add the center variable which we just created. Now save the file and open the terminal. Let's see our changes by starting our Angular application. Run ng-serve to start our app. Open the local host by control plus click on the link shown in the terminal. Here as you can see our Google Maps is ready. It is showing strange pop-up with for development purpose warning. It is because we've added localhost to the domains list when creating our Google Maps API key, which Google Maps is considering as a development environment. You'll add your site domain in the domain list at the time of creating your Google Maps key. Then the Google Maps will load properly without this development warning. Now let's continue with our development and let's try to add markers in our map. Go to app-component.ts file and add markers array and add latitudes and longitudes. Here, as you can see, it is a type of lat long literal just like above, but here we're using an array. We'll iterate through the items and use it in our Google Maps. Now let's use this array to show markers in our Google Maps. Use map marker to show marker in our Google Maps. Here we will iterate through our marker lat long array using ng for of loop. Now set position property. It will accept an object with latitude and longitude just like we've defined in our array. As we're using ng for of loop inside our HTML, we'll need to import ng for of inside the imports array of app component.ts file. Now let's see our changes. Here let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the markers. As you can see, our map is showing to its default height and width. Angular Google Maps supports some additional properties which you can work with according to your need. Let's try some of them. First of all, I would like to zoom out a bit. You can use zoom property which is available in Angular Google Maps. Let's set it as 12. Now let's set height as 95 VH. Set width as 100% so it will span our full screen. Now save and go back to browser. As you can see, our Google Maps is covering full screen just like we added the properties. There are several other properties and methods available in Angular Google Maps which you can implement according to your needs. You can check the available options by visiting the following link.